Well, hello, everyone. Welcome to Sermon Shorts. I'm David Morehouse, uh, the pastor of the Journey Church. Today, I want to ask you what might sound like a strange question. Are you dancing alone or dancing alone? Now, I, I know that you understand what that first word is, alone. I mean, that's by yourself, um, not with anyone else. And maybe you've done that. Maybe you've gone off to an event and you found yourself in an event where you were dancing alone. But it's the second one I want us to really think about, and that is dancing alley alone. Now, myself and Brent Hudson, our teaching pastor, were having fun with this word as we were helping uh, Pastor Seth Kroll uh, in his preparation of his message. But we, are, we were thinking about this idea of alion, which is the Greek word in the New Testament for one another. It's the whole idea of our, our mutuality and how we're called to relate to one another. And actually, I was just looking up in the scriptures, um, or research here, I should say, where it says actually that word alion, which means one another, uh, shows up about 100 times in the New Testament, and I believe it's 50 plus times. It's specifically used in the context of giving instruction uh, to the Christian church about how we're called to relate to one another. Now, I want you to pause for a moment and, um, again, think about that. Um, how do you dance with one another? I, I think that... Um, when we think about, first of all, a, a sort of a basic understanding of ourselves, so much about how we re, you know, would define ourselves is ultimately about how we do relate to one another or how we um, alley alone with one another. I mean, think about it. If someone said, well, Dave, who are you? I might be tempted to say, well, uh, Dave is a, a, a husband. Oh, wait now, that's with someone else. Uh, Dave is a father. Oh, wait now. Oh, Dave is a grandfather. No. Uh, Dave is a pastor. Uh, Dave, uh, you know, works um, with World Vision. Um, Dave is a neighbor. Uh, Dave is a citizen of Canada. Dave is a, is a global participant in our world. I, I mean, again, um, so much of how we even understand ourselves has to deal with how do we relate to one another. I think it's fascinating that in our Christian faith, when we experience what we call salvation in Christ, um, we often sometimes reduce salvation to this story that says, well, Jesus saves me from, right? He saves me from destruction. He saves me from a Christless eternity. He saves me from hell. And we think about all the things we're saved from. But, but when Christ came to rescue us and save, saves us, he also is saving us to something. And one of the critical um, things that we are being saved to is that we are being saved so that we can enter into God's kingdom with God's people. Uh, we are being saved to become part of God's household of faith, to become part of God's family, which by definition then means that now my faith in God um, a lot of it is going to get worked out and expressed in how I alione with people. And what's alione? One another. That's right. So, so throughout the New Testament, especially, we see these um, you know, teaching statements and encouragements to say, if you are in Christ, this is how you need to relate to other people and how you need to relate to one another. And this is really important because, because this is how we're called to live out our faith. Even if we go back to when Jesus was being asked, what are the greatest commandments in the scriptures? It was, yes, love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. But then the second commandment was, and love your neighbor as yourself. So there's this call of, of relationship that if we're really being changed by God, if we're being filled with who he is, um, it means that we live out our life before God 
in an Ellie loan way. We, we're relating to one another and we can never escape that. That's a, a day by day, moment by moment um, experience for us. So I, I wanna go back to the title for a second. Are you dancing alone or are you dancing Ellie loan? You know, I just want to highlight some, uh, some of these uh, passages of Scripture. Now, again, uh, if you want to see the fuller preach on this, uh, we actually had one of our other pastors preach this, uh, and you can check that out in our connection, in our description box below. Uh, Pastor Seth Kroll did it. He did a great job. So I'm just going to do, again, this sermon short summary of it. But some of the ways we're called to dance Alion or how we're supposed to walk with one another, let me just highlight a few verses. First of all, in 1 Corinthians 16, 20, it says, greet one another. Um, actually, we read this, all brothers and sisters here send you greetings. Greet one another with a holy kiss. Now, I'm not here today to talk about the whole issue of physical uh, touch when it comes to um, expressing our greeting. Culturally, I've, I've had the opportunity of being in some Middle Eastern countries. I remember being in Lebanon a few years back, and um, we were in some places where everybody greeted one another with this sort of, um, you know, a kiss on each cheek. And it, culturally for me, it wasn't something I was used to, so it threw me for a bit of a loop. But I just saw that this was a, a, a way that they were expressing greeting to one another. What I really want to highlight to you about this verse, though, is this. Uh, greeting one another means that we get out of ourselves and we pay attention to other people. Um, one of the most loving things we can do with people is to acknowledge they really exist, to look them in the eye, to say hello, um, you know, my name is Dave and your name is. Um, I'm sure you've been to places, including churches, where you might go to a church and no one speaks to you. No one comes up and welcomes you or greets you. And it's a horrible feeling, right? It's, it's you're feeling not just dismiss, but you almost feel like you don't exist. And again, I think that, that if we are in the, the body of Christ and we know that God has seen us um, through Jesus, well, guess what? We're now called to see others and greet one another. Here's another Alion verse for us to remember, and that is honor one another. It says in Romans 12.10, be devoted to one another in love, honor one another above yourselves. You know, again, um, this Alion phrase reminds us that not only are we supposed to recognize others, but there's something about giving others honor. I find often the temptation for a lot of us is to simply, um, you know, we want to be acknowledged and we want to be honored because um, we want people to recognize who we are and what we've accomplished and what we've done. And, and, and what we need to realize that if we have the love of Christ in us, the call is actually we need to look at how we can honor others, how we can celebrate their strengths, um, you know, appreciate uh, what, what they bring into the moment in that relationship that we're in. There's something very powerful about honoring others as a practice. You know, there's so many other dancing Alion phrases, but I just want to um, end on this one in Ephesians 4, 2, it says, Be completely humble and gentle. Be patient, bearing with one another in love. I don't know about you, but I know that um, I have a lot of people in my life that at times are extremely difficult. Um, they may be going through a bad day. They may be either, you know, filled with anxiety or they're angry or they're impatient or they're judgmental or they're whatever. And on and on the list goes. And what I'm reminded here is that my posture to everyone always needs to be one of grace, where I'm going to bear with Alion one another in love. And so today I want to encourage you that as you're maybe facing difficult people in your life and you're trying to figure out how to navigate them, um, instead of attacking them or avoiding them, show them the grace of Christ and... Um, you know, bear with them. And, and of course, we know that doesn't simply mean to just put up with and never say anything, but, but walk with them and help them understand maybe what they're going through 
and just show patience. Show patience with them. Well, those are just some of the ways we can, you know, dance alion with others. We can uh, honor one another, we can greet one another, and we can especially bear with one another. Now, now again, I, I want to end on just this reminder of the title. Are you dancing alone? Because if you don't want to honor, or greet, or, or put up with other people's struggles and weaknesses, you will dance alone. Or you can dance alion, which is the, the way of Christ. So let me encourage you. Like, learning how to dance in any way, takes practice. Just practice these steps of greeting, honoring, and being patient with other people. God bless you, and take a look at some of the questions that are going to follow this talk.